I'm going to show you one of the best man beating plays in Madden 24, and it comes to us out of the U trips or the Y off trips Pats formation. And the play that we're going to be taking a look at today is the play Titan Whip. Now, if you guys want to get my full U trips offensive ebook, I actually just dropped it over on my Patreon for my Patreon members. If you're not a Patreon member yet, it's only 10 bucks to become a member, and it gets you access to all of my Madden offensive and defensive eBooks, as well as a, a, a ton of updates to those eBooks as the year goes on, as long as your membership is active. So you get everything for just 10 bucks. The link is going to be in the description down below. Tidal Whip is a very versatile play, and what's cool about U-Trips is it has these really cool um, post routes that you can do a lot with. So for example, if I just set up a, a simple concept like this, this post route on the right side to uh, that of Scantling is pretty much going to almost always win inside leverage against main coverage. Now, that's not the only route in the play that we have. We actually have um, this really, really good route to James over here. And what you'll see is if I set up a basic concept like this, this post route is also going to be something that can pretty consistently beat main coverage occasionally without uh, because we don't have route running abilities yet. Sometimes it can get a little bit like bumpy. The reason man coverage is good is because of the random bumps that occur in man coverage. Um, but as you can see right here, it absolutely crushes man to man. Now, the cool part about U-Trips is it's full of routes like sharp cutting corners, sharp cutting post routes that are really effective against man coverage every single year. One of my favorite ways to set up tight end whip is we are going to put our tight end on a drag. We are going to streak our slot receiver, and then we're going to put our backside receiver on an in route. Now, when you do this, you can also put your running back on a wheel, um, and, or you could not. The reason you might want to put your running back on a wheel is he can sometimes get some really good separation. Um, he can sometimes get some really good separation against man-to-man -man coverage if that guy uh, that is guarding him is – a linebacker now it could be a safety at linebacker or it can be just a regular linebacker um if it's a if it's like that deep safety like it is in three three uh three three cub then it's not as good but i will show you you'll see right here if it's a linebacker typically he'll get over the top and you can kind of get this over the shoulder uh catching animation to the running back now the one thing i did want to point out is let's say that they are going to run main coverage on you and it's going to be the safety Another little kind of nugget about this formation is you could quick throw this to the running back if if there's if that linebacker is not in place. So let's say for example they send five, uh, which is very common this year. They send five at you, and you're trying to dot it with this play. Okay, so if they send five at you, this quick throw wheel because the safety is the guy that's manned up on him is actually really effective for attacking man coverage. So you can block the running back to pick up protection, or you can send him on a route and potentially have a really good way to quickly beat any kind of blitz they're going to run. Um, but let's assume that they're going to scissor, and, and, and obviously they're going to adjust their play. This then becomes a really, really good setup if they're doing any kind of scissoring over there on the left side because the, it really takes advantage of the tight end on the drag. And so this tight end on a drag route, you're going to see he is going to get pretty consistent separation against man, and the rat catch animation is going to help him turn up field and be able to have uh, a really good like snap through a read. So they've got a hard flat over there to take away that tight end drag, and then the user is going to have to be in the middle of the field. So as we go through the adjustments that your opponent's going to have to do here, the other thing that becomes very apparent is that this post route really does make or break this play. As I'm getting crazy shedding in practice mode, and the hook curl got more depth than I've seen a yellow zone get in the last five years of Madden. <laughs> um, but basically, what what should happen here is they're going to have to make a decision: are they going to go to are they going to go to the post, or are they going to go to that deep uh, or that shallow dig route that you've got Valdez scaling on? Now that shallow dig route that you have Valdez scaling on, um, if you have tight end apprentice, you could also run a trail concept with that, that uh, where you could motion snap, you could motion snap the guy in. But we don't have that really in mutt yet. So essentially what you're going to want to do here is also one little quick thing. You can throw stuff like that right there on press man if there's no safety help over top. So if there's no safety help over top um, and they're playing you in press man to man, occasionally you can put this guy on a fade too. Sometimes the fade is actually a little better than the, uh, than the streak. But you'll see here, say he gets this outside leverage. I could freeform him up into the outside, and it puts the ball where he's either going to catch it or it's going to be a knockout. So if you want to take a shot, 
to try to get them out of press man or to try to get them to spend a resource that they have in coverage on maybe defending you like this, that's really important. Now, if they take the post over the middle of the field, which is the most common thing that they are probably going to do, and the reason, and they should, um, because it's the best route on the play. This backside dig has been really good for me coming across the middle just like that, and it opens up a significant amount of space for it to get opening man coverage. This is an incredible zone beater. It's also actually a really good uh, or incredible man beater. It's also, also actually a really good zone beater. You have this tight end drag, which if they don't hard flat, you can throw that to the sideline every single time. If they do hard flat and they shade underneath, then we get into that same basic chess match with the user where if he goes here, I'm going to throw here. If he doesn't go there, then I'm going to throw there. So you'll see here he's going to stay down on this end, which is going to allow us to throw the ball right in this little pocket. And that's against cover four, cover three, cover two. It doesn't really matter uh, what zone you're going to see there. But if he says, well, I'm going to go user, I'm going to go user the, um, the route, then what you're going to be able to do here is you'll see that this backside dig, if he doesn't stop running, <laughs> shout out to EA for those great fixes, is going to be wide open in the middle of the field. And normally that dig won't stop running. It's just kind of a thing right now that we're going through uh, with this game where like slants and, and dig routes, for whatever reason, uh, they just stop running. And it's it's I think what it is is it's EA's attempt to code like sitting in zone, but the problem is they're sitting in covered space. So that's, that's kind of the problem with that, in my opinion. Uh, but anyway, you see the end. The in route, another thing you could do if you want to make that in route a little bit more consistent, let's say you're just like really getting frustrated because it's doing that. One other little thing you can do with that, really simple, um, is just basically smart route it. So when you smart route this in route, which it's going to mess up a little bit of the other piece of the play, but when you smart route the in route, you'll see here, he'll come across and he won't really stop and you can throw this in this pocket. Okay. Um, you could also put him on like a drag. The drags from my experience don't sit as bad. So if you did double drags instead of double in routes and they went to the post, then that is also something you can do with this. But you'll see here right in there. And you see the spacing is still pretty decent even with double drags because of the way the players move in the game. All right. So that is U-Trips. Really effective offense. Uh, it's probably my favorite offense right now to be running because of the fact that we have so many good short, uh, sharp cutting posts and sharp cutting corners, which you can really build an offense around. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to get access to all my ebooks, we've got this is going to make our eighth ebook of Madden 24 within two days of the game being out. And we're dropping two more ebooks later tonight. We're going to be dropping 4 3, even 6 1 finally for you guys. And we're going to be dropping Bunch Tied In later tonight as well. So thanks for watching and uh, join the Patreon if you want to get access to everything. You get all the ebooks for just 10 bucks. So it's, I think it's the best 10 bucks you can spend, especially in the beginning of the year. Kind of gets you uh, a foundation for how to play Madden at a high level. Link is in the description. Head down to the description and go get signed up for the Patreon.